What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel, bright and early on a Monday morning, because we have got new epics. So, we've got Shevchenko, Totti, and Schneider. I don't know why I said Totti like Totti, but I sounded posh, right? Shevchenko, one of my favorite all time players, right? Absolute beast of a player, but I think they've done him dirty. We're going to get into it in a second. We also have the eFootball DB website that has been updated. The guys messaged me to say and today today to say, look, it's updated. We're still working on a couple of things. We'll get them things sorted. So we'll have a look at that. But this is part of the pack. I'll keep it short and sweet, lads. It's going to be a very, very quick review um, to keep you guys up to date uh, and not waste your time, right? Shevchenko goes to 32 levels. Totti goes to 31 levels and Schneider goes to 32. They have a base uh, starting rating of 85, 85, and 84, and they're in this pack with these players that you see here. So you've got Ashman, uh, basically attackers, Italian league attackers, right? So the biggest thing about Shevchenko, lads, the biggest disappointment with him to get straight into it is his balance, right? So the booster that he's getting actually does improve his speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina. So this is kind of where these boosters are really going to come into effect, right? Because you've got Shevchenko, who is a complete forward, but his balance does let him down a little bit. Now, you can upgrade his speed and acceleration quite high, as we'll get into here in a second. He does have some really nice player skills as well. He's got heading, he's got long-range curler, he's got first-time shot, he has acrobatic finishing and long-range shooting. He also has cut behind and turn, which is extremely uh, powerful now in this game. And the one thing I also like about him is that he has got chip shot control. He also has unwavering form, which means it's going to be good. And that's his boosted there, right? So he's got 84 speed, acceleration 82, balance 65, and stamina 75 when he's boosted goes to an 86 overall. Um, but yeah, the balance is going to be an issue, and I'm going to show you why, right? So when we actually go over here to eFootball DB, pay no attention to the graphics. They're still being updated, but the player levels and the stats are all fine. Um, this is how we've kind of trained him up as a... Uh, goal poacher right so one thing i get asked a lot is what is the difference between goal poacher fox of the box we'll do a video on that because it's too much to get into here but this is kind of the build that i've went for that i've really looked at probably um you know playing right we will be streaming later as well today on monday uh shooting eight dribbling eight 12 dexterity six lower body and five aerial strength this is probably the most complete build of him personally for me i think because of the boost that he's getting to his um abilities with that booster you're going to have 90 speed here with this build 94 acceleration but you're still going to have only 75 balance i would ideally like to get that up to at least if i could get it up to at least um 78 balance so that you'd have 80 balance with the booster but or yeah 77 and have 80 balance with the booster and then his form right his player form arrow okay but this is the problem with this card and it's why i think they've really balanced out these cards there is always one little drawback to any of these cards. Like, you're never going to get, like, 90 finishing, 90 offensive awareness, 90 balance, 90 speed and acceleration, and have height, have ability to be able to finish in the air. You're also never going to get somebody that can run on the ground, um, but have bad finishing. You know, you're, that is pure pace. So there's, I do like the way they're balancing the cards. I hope that they continue it, because if, obviously, you want Shevchenko to be an absolute monster if you're going to be trying to spin for him, but they still need to balance the game for the actual experience of playing against different people, you know, and stuff like that, right? We also have um, Totti, right? So Totti is part of this pack as well. Now, I know a certain friend of mine, Mr. Pezep, is uh, his favorite player of all time. I, I guarantee you he'll be spinning for this Totti because it looks insane. But interestingly enough, Totti actually gets a booster uh, for shooting, shooting plus two, which gives a boost to his ball control, his finishing, his kicking power, and his physical contact. So this is a very interesting card as well. Uh, I, I still have to look at the ultimate build for him, but I've kind of gone with this one here, which is the one you're seeing on your screen right here, okay? So this one of Totti... I don't know where my webcam has gone. Two seconds, lads. We'll get that back. I know you want to see my Monday morning face. But anyway, uh, this version of Toddy actually is very, very strong. But again, you will see that the downgrade comes my... Oh, yeah, that's why I have the, the webcam off because you can't see the full stats. Anyway, his speed is the drawback on this one, right? His speed is going to be an issue on this. Yes, you've got excellent attacking ability. I reckon that with Toddy, you have to get that balance up really high because he's not the strongest. And even though he does have physical contact and he gets a bit of a boost on that, I definitely think using this player as an AMF as a classic number 10, it's it's harder to use classic number 10s because you're kind of slowing down your play. You're not doing as many run touch and goes as the whole player. I do like this card. I definitely think he could be a beastly card, but it is an issue if you do not finish, if you do not shoot, right? So these cards are all about shooting. 
and it is the same with Schneider right now he has some really good player skills as well one touch pass he's also got excellent uh, the, the excellent knuckle shot and long range shooting he also has heel trick he has for, uh, one touch pass way to pass um, but I feel like if you're not shooting with this player, you're better off use somebody that is more about acceleration like Nakunku or somebody like that, right? Wesley Schneider is a similar problem. Not a problem, but if you don't shoot, you are kind of wasting this card a lot, right? Because of his kicking power. So his booster actually is for technique, which raises ball control, dribbling, tight possession and low pass. So Messi and him share that technique um ability where they get the boost to that and as you can see there with a the little green icon the little green circle that's what gets boosted up and he already has 90 type possessions straight off the rip without training him at all now he's only got standard form he also has a, a couple of missing player skills that i would say are needed for that attacking midfielder role including um one touch pass and i would say first time shot as well they're very powerful in the game at the moment and he has that standard form but again we do have a really good build for him here just looking very quickly we've gone with this version of him now the reason when you get to this point right is i'm not going to go too mad on anything else here but this is the decision you need to make when you are in this position with this card if you do spin for schneider okay you when you get to around this base where he's got like 93 type possession that's going to go to 95 overall his ball control at 88 his low pass at 88 they're both going to go to 90 with the with the boost with the booster he's got a brilliant booster for this position right um his kicking power is at 91 his balance is at 90 his acceleration is at 83 and his curl is at 94 which i really like okay but from this position as a creative playmaker I would say that you probably need to make a decision whether you want to pop those three into dexterity to bring his acceleration and balance up way higher and then one into passing or else uh, one into dribbling or else you need to put the three, three of them into shooting and then the same thing, put one into passing or one into dribbling or one into aerial strength if you want to go that route, but I probably wouldn't. So that's completely up to you depending on what position that you want to play him in. Shooting with Schneider is going to be super fun because of his kicking power and because it's just built in with his player ID. But I do feel like he is definitely kind of a, you know, come and learn type um, player, right? So that is just a really quick review. Is it worth spinning? I think compared to Nesta, Carlos and Can, I would say that this is a very attacking heavy trio. Um, I would say that Toddy and Schneider are quite similar, right, in how you should be using them. Is that if you are not comfortable taking a lot of shots with your attacking midfielders, if you don't use stunning shots, if you don't use stunning passes, if you don't like being methodical on the ball and you don't have slowed possession based um you know, play with your, with your football, I would say that Toddy and Schneider probably aren't worth it, but then Shevchenko's a brand new legend, I'm torn whether I'll spin from, what do you guys want, do you want me to spin, do you not, let's see, but I definitely recommend Shevchenko, I think he could be a beast, except for that balance stat, it'd be interesting to see how he holds up, because balance is very important now in the game, uh, more so than it ever was, so yeah, let me know what you guys think, will you spin or skip, I will talk to you later, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you later in the stream.